Good morning, everyone. I'm Katie Nolan with your top headlines for Wednesday, June 27th. China decides to give mushrooms another go, and Nora Ephron is dead. No, she's not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, she is. All that and more, right here on your guys and speed round, brought to you by Meet Moi. I missed you guys. Scientists have gene mapped the Chinese mushroom of immortality that's been used for centuries to cure diseases and help make you healthier. I don't know about you, but given China's recent authority on mushrooms, I think I'm gonna pass on that. For a few more days, we are sponsored by Meet Moi, a cell phone app that helps introduce you to singles in your area. I'm sorry, a free cell phone app that introduces you, are you hearing me, to singles near you that like things that you like, which is sweet. But stay tuned to the end of the episode and I will update you on our contest in which you can win a $500 Amazon gift card. So writer Nora Ephron's friends last night tweeted and wrote big articles that she had died. Um, and then it turned out that she didn't die. And then by the time I went to bed, I'm pretty sure she died. I know it's ridiculous. I don't... <laughs> I can sum it up by showing you these three consecutive tweets from TMZ that came across my timeline, which first said, Nora Ephron's family says the Hollywood legend is gravely ill but not dead. And two tweets later, Nora Ephron dead, Hollywood legend dies at 71. I think it's just more proof that anything Charlie Sheen touches nowadays dies. A new photo shoot of Kate Upton is out. And she's wearing clothes. Actor Jason Lee and his wife welcomed their third child this weekend. His name is Sonny Lee. Given Jason Lee's other kids' names, I think we all thought that was going to go a little differently, but he probably has just used up all of his creativity. We're having a son, Jason. I need you to come up with a name. Oh, fuck. Uh, Pilot? We used that. Um, Casper? Oh, we used that one, too. Uh, we're having a son. We're having a son. Uh, Sonny. A man in Texas has been accused of beating, strangling, and starting to eat his family's dog after barking, growling, crawling around on his... Okay, a man's been accused of being on bath salts. Next. Oh, in unrelated news, it was Michael Vick's birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Michael Vick. This woman started collecting pennies when her goddaughter Kyla was three years old. And now, 15 years later, has 500,000 pennies that she's going to donate to send Kyla to college. 500,000 pennies. 15 years of work. $5,000. Unless Kyla's going to community college, you just wasted a shit ton of time. New research shows that two cups of coffee a day can reduce your risk of heart failure. But five cups of coffee a day can increase your risk of bad things happening to your heart. Here's my issue, the interchangeability of the words cup and mug. It's sort of like they're covering their bases. Like, oh, he said two cups of coffee could reduce the risk of heart failure, not two mugs. Silly. No, we didn't mean that at all. It was two, two cups. Sorry that you died. In support of gay marriage, Oreo posted this picture on their Facebook page the other day, which was met with some pretty shockingly insane opposition from insane people who are against being gay. Many of whom claim they're now going to boycott Oreos. Boycott Oreos. That takes a fuck ton of self-control. But then again, so does suppressing all your homoerotic tendencies. You've got it in you. Not a dick, don't worry. New statistics show that more than 60% of people in the United States believe without a shadow of a doubt that God exists. No doubt in their mind. Is more than 60% of the country dyslexic? Because I can get that. Dogs exist. Kentucky basketball star Anthony Davis is copywriting his unibrow. That's fucking genius. That's genius. I'm going to copyright my leg hair so I never have to shave it again. It's just my thing. So we are still giving away a $500 Amazon gift card thanks to Meet Moi. Sending me an email in which you describe your worst first day turnoffs will enter you in once. If you download the app and use the word guyism when you do so, that will enter you in twice. We'll be announcing the winner on Friday's speed round. 
Every day I'm reading some of my favorites, and when I say some of my favorites, it's a complete lie. I am reading ones that I haven't read yet, so my reactions are all quite genuine. Oh, Brian Fugate says, I went out with a girl once who got so drunk that she threw up on herself and pooped her skirt. Not her underwear, her skirt, because this gem wasn't wearing any underwear. How much you want to bet when Meet Wa decided to do this? They were thinking people would say, oh, she had food in her teeth, or she talked too much. No, Meet Wa, my biggest first date turnoff is when a girl poops in her skirt. Can I have $500? And that's going to do it for your speed round, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, comment down below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't laughed yet th today, then fucking shit! If you haven't laughed yet today, there'll be a link to a video in the description that will make you do so. P.S. If you have a television and you have cable, I a segment I did for Attack of the Show is going to be on tonight on G4 at 7 p.m. So you can see me on a big screen. Other than that, enjoy your hump days. This has been a very long week. And I will see you right back here tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know.